Hello and welcome to WPLMS Theme Installation Guide. In this guide, we learn how to set up the WPLMS theme on a WordPress site. So after you have purchased the product from ThemeForest, you will get a WPLMS.zip file, which is our theme file. And for this demo, I have a blank WordPress site with 2014 installed. So to get started with the installation process, we'll first install the theme. So we go to Appearance, Theme section. We click on add new, we select upload and we select the zip file downloaded from our ThemeForest account. So after the theme has been installed, we click on activate link. After you have installed and activated the theme, you will get a notification to install the following plugins. So we start by installing the plugins. We select all of these and click on install. So after you installed and activated all the plugins, we start with the setting up process of WPLMS. So first thing, we go to settings, permalinks. So here we select the permalink as post name. You'll also see a notification above. So we click on repair. So first we activate all the components of BuddyPress. The theme supports all the, all the components. Next we move to pages. So if you are going to import the sample data then we already have the, these pages created. So we may not link them right now. Similarly we will not click on install WooCommerce pages because it will already be included in the import data. If you are not importing the data then you can click on install WooCommerce pages and you can create new pages to connect with BuddyPress components. So we need a page for register, activate and course. So you can create a new page and connect them here. So in settings, we are going to remove the toolbar for logged out users because we already have a inbuilt theme inbuilt toolbar. So next we'll go to general section and we enable membership and the default role we set as student. So now anyone who signs up on the site will be a student. Next we move to WooCommerce settings. So for WPLMS, we need to disable the guest checkout and we need to also disable the registration process on the checkout page. Since the theme already has styling for WooCommerce, we can disable the styling. Next is the catalog section. So in the catalog section, we recommend removing the hard crop from the images. Next is the pages section. Since the pages will be imported during the sample data install, we we will connect them after the sample data import. If you are not importing the sample data, then you can simply click on install WooCommerce pages and all the pages will be connected here. So apart from this, we need to do one more setting that is in the settings discussion section. We need to disable the comment moderation and the previously approved comment checks. After all these settings, we, can, we are finally ready to import the sample data. We go to tools, import, and we install the WordPress importer. So now we need to upload the sample data. You would have got a sample data.zip along with the WPLMS package. So we unzip the sample data.zip and we have the XML file which we'll import through our WordPress importer. And click on upload and import. So for each of this, we we will create a new username. Next, we check download and import file attachments and click submit. So after the import has finished, you may also see some failed media messages which can be ignored. So next, we start connecting the BuddyPress and WooCommerce pages. So first, we go to BuddyPress repair. So now here we have all courses page. For register we have a register page. Similarly activate page and we save them. Similarly in WooCommerce settings we connect the pages now. Right so after we have set up the pages if we go to LMS and check all courses you should see pre-built courses with the instructor name in front of them. 
if you view any course so we are all set here so now we need to set up the menus and the home page for our site so next we need to set up the home page and the menus so we go to add-on panel customize in navigation we set up the menus similarly we set a static page as home page right so we are all set up now the only thing which is now remaining is the images which are not imported by the WordPress importer that's it from the quick setup guide for WP LMS thanks for watching